We went to the Prague Castle, which was founded about 880 A.D. The castle is on a hill overlooking Prague and the Voltava River. The president of the Czech Republic has an office here. Over the years, the castle has suffered from war, fire, and old age. Even the Swedes looted it in 1648. During the Nazi occupation in World War II, Reinhard Heydrich ruled from here. He placed the Bohemian crown on his head and was killed less than a year after, which was consistent with an old legend that says, any usurper who places a crown on his head will die within the year. I took no chances on this one and left the crown alone. The cathedral is an awe-inspiring sight. Prague Old Town Square dates back to the 12th century. We stood around to see the astronomical clock strike the hour and watch the characters move. This huge boulevard goes to the museum at the far end of the street. It is teeming with pedestrian traffic. I walked past the storefront window and returned because I could not believe what I saw. The woman is soaking her feet in water while fish are eating the dead skin from her legs and feet. Let your mind wander a bit and consider a new way to get a facial.
The Charles Bridge is a major tourist attraction. It has become a crowded pedestrian bridge. There are many tourist attractions on the bridge. Artists, musicians, and of course, pickpockets. At the far end of the bridge is a quaint part of Prague, which is down the hill from the Prague Castle. At the subway station, you purchase tokens and place them in a machine to enter the restricted ticket-only area. Inspectors roam the subway station asking to see your stamped ticket. One night, we left Prague on a bus and visited a village and ate in their version of an English public house. We walked around the village before entering the pub. The man in red sang many songs while his daughter provided the accompaniment. 